Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. In this video, let us discuss how to calculate three phase power, power factor and power factor angle using MATLAB simulator. For example, let's go for a simple MATLAB simulator model to understand the calculation of three phase power, power factor and power factor angle. Let me take a source first. Go for three phase programmable voltage source. Then go to three phase voltage measurement. Take three phase parallel load. Let me connect this. Parameter amplitude Ramas voltage face to face. Let me go for 400 volt. Then phase angle as it is 0. Frequency make it as 50. Then go to load flow. Take this as a swing bus. Then a 3 phase measurement block. Measure face to ground. You can also use labels VABC. Current measurement. Use labels. Okay. Then a three phase parallel RLC load. It has 400 volt RMS. White rounded. Frequency 50 hertz, active power, take it as 10 kilowatt, inductive reactive power, take it as 1 kilowatt, no capacitive reactive power, it's now RL load. For load flow, you just take constant impedance load. Now, in order to measure power, go for uh, power measurement block. We take it as three phase instantaneous. Provide the input VABC and IABC is from. Make it as B A B C update tab in this okay. And again uh, from make it as I A B C update tag plus OK. Then B A B C I A B C input is given. Then we want to measure real power and reactive power. Go for display. You can see real power here. Reactive power here and also use scope. Use uh, 
is still four inputs. Measure real power, reactive power, power factor as well as power factor angle. Okay. The real power may be connected to this one. Reactive power for power factor, we just write a function we need a real power as well as reactive power to calculate power factor. That is V i cos phi divided by V i. V i cos phi is uh, real power. So we need one input from this. Then V i. V i is apparent power which is calculated from P and Q. So we need two input here. Go so for bus creator. Take one input from P, another one from Q. Connect here. So two inputs, namely U of one, U of two. Now go for U of one divided by. PST or T of U of 1 square. Let me take down U of 1, multiply with U of 1 plus U of 2, multiply with U of 2 under square. Okay. So this is your power factor. And you can calculate power factor here. If you want to see this uh, visualization, you can connect uh, scope to then power factor angle. So once we computed power factor, we can get power factor angle simply by making A cos. That is cos inverse of that. Power factor. Let me go for uh, the action again. One function. This time, from power factor, take inverse. A cos of U of 1. You can also see this here. This is your power factor angle. If you want to witness that one way from, you can see. All set. Just connect some uh, ground here. Ground. So now Run this model. I think I have some error here. We need to put the uh, upper gate block, make it as discrete. Sampling time is 50 e minus 6 seconds. We have one more mistake here. U of 1, not U1. Make it as U of 1. Run this. Now you can see the real power 1 e to the power 4, that is uh, 10 kilowatt, and the reactive power. 1000 VAR. The power factor is 0 0.995, uh, which is uh, that is your real power divided by apparent power. 
and the power factor angle is 0.00967. Then for sake of clarity, we just uh, make it as only real power is consumed by the load. So that we can easily verify the answer. Now check this, uh, only real power consumption that is 10 kilowatt, reactive power is 0. Because of real power consumption, your power factor is 1 and the corresponding power factor angle is 0. I will go for one more case here. Um, both real and reactive power is same. Then if both real and reactive power is same, power factor is 0 0.707. In the corresponding power factor angle is 0.7854. Uh, actually, this is in terms of uh, radian. If you want to convert the same to degree, you can multiply here 1855. have a look at this 45 degree of angle. So, power factor angle is 45 because I have converted radian into degree. I hope you can understand uh, how to calculate three phase power in fact real reactive power and also power factor and the corresponding power factor angle using MATLAB. For more update, subscribe my channel.